My name is Jacob Unkin. I'm a Payload Operations Director for the International Space Station Program at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. As a Payload Operations Director at Marshall, I lead a team of flight controllers to accomplish all of NASA's science objectives on board the International Space Station. Operation director is, is similar to a flight director down in Houston. We lead our, our core team here in uh, Huntsville. Uh, we've got different disciplines that are in charge of telemetry, video, actually talking to the crew, safety, and the payload operation director leads that team. So we have a team of payload developers all across the world who design hardware and software that's sent to the International Space Station and we ensure that it's executed safely and successfully. The team I lead is the payload operations directors and the training team and the COFR team. Basically what that means is that's the individuals that are leading the science execution on board the International Space Station. We support crewed and uncrewed science experiments on board the International Space Station 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. My dad, Jay Unkin, was a farm boy from central Illinois who uh, found his way at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in 1989. He supported payload operations on board for Space Lab, the Chandra X-ray Observatory where he served as flight director and the International Space Station where he served as a payload operations director. He was one of the first pods who started supporting the International Space Station and Marshall Space Flight Center. I uh, met him on his first day at NASA and he was assigned to my team on the STS-35 um, Space Lab mission, Astro-1. As we all progressed through our careers, I watched him become a consummate leader. He was a people person. He knew how to lead people effectively. He knew how to maximize their talents and somebody I wanted to emulate. He was somebody you wanted to follow. Uh, you wanted to be in the meeting that was being led by Jay. You wanted to be on his team. I wore this today because, because of Jay. The first uh, International Space Station mission that me and Jay worked together was Increment 3. We started 24 by 7 operations on Increment 2 and me and Jay were both payload operations directors on Increment 3. This is the first time that we've seen a payload operations director, you know, having a legacy of a, of a family member than a second generation payload operations director. As a kid, I wasn't always super into space. I remember when I was nine, my dad pretty much waking me up at three o'clock in the morning and forcing me outside to watch the International Space Station fly overhead. And I think he clued in um, early and often that, that his father was kind of somebody. And, and that he was somebody to emulate. He was somebody who had achieved a lot. Jacob came along as part of a certified uh, data management coordinator position here at Marshall, which is one of the teams that supports the pod office on the science execution. Uh, I knew who he was, being the son of Jay, and been watching him for years on his technical acumen at his position. I remember being in this very room with my family as my dad was showing them around and not realizing that they could see us in there. When I first started out here in 2016, I didn't realize this was what I was coming in to support, the International Space Station Program and the Payload Operations Integration Center. So when I reported to work on my first day, I was quite surprised to find I was at the same place I had been probably 10 times before in my life. He's, he's a people person, everybody likes Jacob, and he's a leader. He's starting to show those traits just like his, his, his father had. It's very special to me that I'm around to see the International Space Station utilized to its full potential while my dad was around when they were first starting the International Space Station program and dreaming about what it could become. My favorite stories about my dad that I hear from many of his peers and coworkers who are still working out here are not necessarily the war stories that you would expect of something going awry on console. It's mostly about how much he cared about the people that he worked with, his coworkers and his peers, and how that made them feel. The only piece of advice he ever gave me was the people out here work really hard and really care about what they do, so we should do everything that we can to support them. When I hired Jacob, I told him he was gonna be a legacy and what it meant. And we got emotional a little bit because I knew his dad. And having his dad pass and knowing he could honor his dad, I looked him in the eyes and said, you've gotta do this so you represent yourself, but at the same time, you're gonna be able to represent your family and Jay and his legacy, and you're representing the pot office. I think the way he helped me the most was by being there and understanding the, how dynamic 
and unique this environment is. Leading a high performing team in a very high stakes environment, there's nothing like it. It's a tremendous honor to continue the legacy of human spaceflight operations here at Marshall Space Flight Center that my dad started. And it's, a, it's also an incredible pleasure to work with this team here on the ground, as well as our coworkers 250 miles above us. I'm very proud of Jacob. He's accomplished so much, and he's got such an uh, exciting career ahead of him. He's the, the next generation. He's the, he's the, the person we're leaving it in, in great hands for as we take this thing to, uh, to the next, next chapter in NASA's life. I would like to tell him how proud I am, but I think more so how proud I know his dad would be. I, I could just see in my mind the look on his face if he had been in that room like I was the day he was certified. It's inherent within who he is of just being able to relate to people where they are and maximizing talent. And that's the contribution he's going to bring to this organization, not only as we're on the ISS platform, but as we think about Moon to Mars and other endeavors in the future, Jacob's going to help lead us into the future.